What's up guys? So today I'm going to do a mixed breakdown of our cover of Run It by DJ Snake featuring Rich Brian and Rick Ross. So let's go! So the song starts off with like this lo-fi guitar part that goes goes like this. For guitars, I'm, mainly, I'm using the 14 Kelly seat and for the lo-fi effects, it's just uh, this plugin called DC Degrader. You can just turn out the telephone and it gives you a nice filtered lo-fi sound. You can turn out the crush also, it gives you some extra distortion. But the, main, but the main sound is coming from the scene. It sounds something like this. This one is probably a Serum or something. Okay, yeah, so this patch is called All Sin. It's from NR2, the one that you can get from the Slate Digital Bundle. And it's there with a kick. This is what it sounds like. So the intro is pretty much just straightforward, just guitar, synths and the kick. Okay, so when the verse kicks in, we've got... So we've got this sauna sound, this is in the original as well. So just YouTube like, so sauna ping or sauna sounds and just like, Melody need to get it to the right pitch. Here you go. It's a mono file, so like, yeah, it sounds a bit more in the center. And then we've got a bass here. This one is probably... This is probably NR also, called Almost Electric Bass. This time we've got a guitar also, it's a slightly lower gain crunch kind of sound. It's also still the Kelly Suite, but this time with no lo-fi. Got some heavy EQ going on. So in the second half of the verse, we got these extra percussions coming in, kind of like glitchy, cyberpunk sounding, kind of glitchy sounds. So we got Kevin on vocals, he's doing the rapping parts. We've got like some pitch shifting going on to like give it a bit slightly lower kind of voice. Uh, rolling in impalas, but you're too tame, I'm from the south. Then you've got another layer here, this low rap done by me, my best. Cause husband impression. Yeah, so we've got like vocal scene on this. Yeah, it's a Rilo cam preset, which is the Kylo Renan. And then it's like slightly pitch shifted and EQ. I the bass is all programmed also. Got like the pitch bands inside and it's by yep, submission audio zero bass. Then we've got this black eyes, then Brini audio, dark glass plug in. The pre chorus is mainly like just risers and like build up, then the guitar riffs is just this thing. It's the main, the main riff that goes into the lo fi again. The chorus, we've got like more scenes coming in. So we've got this main bassy. Oh, this is the, this is the, the accent scene. It's giving it that extra hit. Oh, we've got this juicy JX lead. It's giving that doom, distortion lead, droning sound in the background. Yeah, so the guitar is just playing the main riff, the one that goes on throughout all the chorus. In the second half, we've got this other scene that sounds like the Doom one. The patch is literally called Enter the Doom Slayer. Then we've got these ad additional percussion hits that's layered together with the drums. Gotta have the end views and the famous Joey Sturgis snare booms, snare bombs. Shot riser there, the gap there. Initially we used the, the Doom one, but like kind of got copyrighted, so we have to take that out. We got another, another kick layer on top of every downbeat. Yeah, so the second verse, Linus comes in with the screaming vocals. Most of the time we just do like double track for vocals for the screams. So we'll do like twice of each layer. Bang, try to show you what we came and do. Most of the time the vocals are already tracked with compression on the way in. As you can see, it's kind of like squash already. There's like a you can see where it kind of picks up. But for this song, I wanted it to be like more extreme, so like I kind of crushed it more with gain reduction. Usually I don't add this much compression, but yeah, we wanna go crazy with this. Like we want everything to be like super loud. Bang, try to show you what we came and do. Ah, Rolling, talking, making major moves. Rolls Royce, no top, me, no one will. 
got some EQ cutting out the low end now, adding some distortion. We've got a lo-fi thingy here also that is probably automated to come in at... Yeah, so, so it's, it's lo-fi at the pre-chorus. After we've got like, some soothe after the lo-fi to kind of like smooth out some of the picks can get quite pokey. CLA vocals and then stack with like more delay and reverb. For the second pre we got like some Taiko hits coming in with the extra booms. And this joining sin, sin bass thing is going on together with the, the MIDI bass. Then we go to the last chorus. The second chorus is pretty much the same, there's not much difference. It's like the guitars are copy pasted, then we have some additional scenes. Actually, we don't have any additional scenes, just the, the scene kind of changes the pattern. Yeah, whereas the first chorus is like. So that's pretty much the only difference. And then we go into this outro section. Once again, we've got the Joey Surge snare bomb on like every other hit. Along with the reverse snare. Then we've got like some sirens going on in the background. Some noise. Some noise keep going back in the background and then I guess not really a siren, just like a, a droning, high frequency droning sound. For the outro there's this like riff thingy going on. For this it's not an end scene, it's just using the it's probably the SFX, so there's no like plugins on here. There's literally like zero plugins. I guess I just recorded it and just like left it there. And the guitar, the real guitars are playing. Just playing the root notes of the chord progression along with like some extra notes here and there. Pretty much all the rhythm guitars are just 14 Kelly on the red channel with this preset Gen X high gain. So I get a track with the Harley Benton 8 string. It's like the multi scale one, the white color one. I got from my friend for like 100 bucks. Can like barely stay in tune. But not wrong, this song is probably drop D or something. Double drop D. <laughs> then we've got the EQ, cutting out a lot of low end, high end. Pressing. Carifonic for like the extra clarity. Usually our hardware one is like permanently patched with the SFX, so yeah, just like emulating the same setting there. And a multi band for the low end. Pretty much it. And we can have a look at the drums. The drums are it's all it's all MIDI for this one. Majority of the snare sound is coming from this classic sample, the Chango FOP snare by Mr. Cameron Mizell. Giving that super huge ass sustain with that pretty much like it sounds like a snare bomb with every hit. Most of the cymbals and toms are from Super Drummer. This is the death. Actually, there are, I don't think there's any. There's only like one tom hit at the end of the song. So like, <laughs> I think the toms are not even processed. Yeah, see the rack toms. Only the floor tom is like, have some processing on it. So without the FOP snare, this is how it sounds. Oof. See how much work the FOP snare is doing. Overheads, very basic, just like a high shelf, and then Satan for like the high frequency. Then we've got the room, giving some of the ambience. It's like quite crushed. Then we've got the kick. This is probably be the super drama one. And then this layer with this. This is a yeah. This is also super drama. Yeah, it's a it's an additional sample kick hard one. It's probably like a drum shot or something. It's a one shot only. You can hear. The snare in the super drummer is this Tama Bell Brass 1980s one, really fat sound. It's not that loud in the mix, but the, the FOP one is the one you're probably hearing the most. So a lot of the ambience is coming from the room sound. As you can hear, with the room muted, it sounds kind of like dry. It sounds okay, but it's not like booms, like exaggerated in your face kind of thing. 
And so see how the, the MVU is giving that lingering sustain to the snare even though it's not really. So we've got the barrel comb also giving it more sustain and like crushing it with the creamer pie. Super crushed. Yeah, so there's the drum sound. Toms, you show the tom processing, it's just on the floor tom. Just cutting out some of the low mids. Then we've got a lot of high-end boost. <laughs> just giving it a high-end boost to give it that stick attack for the toms. And then bottom, with some like kick bleed, another high-end boost. And then we've got this awesome plugin called Harmonic Analog Saturation Processor. This one very good. So this plugin, you can use this dynamic section to like give it more transient or more sustain, I guess. Then you can drive it further with this and then you can adjust the tone or the character with this knob. So you can crank it to the left and then you get more, you get more sustain. You can hear how the room kind of like pops out even more if you go all the way to the left. And if you go to the right, you get more attack and then it cuts like the, cuts the sustain a bit more, but you get more like forward kind of sound. Yeah, so you just need to find the right balance. Like if you want more, more sustain, just turn it to the left, more attack, turn to the right. If you need to sound bigger, just, just make it go to the left. A few other saturation settings here, like different drive types you got like. I think previously it was on tube, you can crank this up. You kind of like soft clip the thing also. That's pretty much all the stuff that's going on in the song. It's actually quite a simple arrangement. The song is quite short as well, just like 2 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, I can show you what's on the master bus. Usually I don't really master my own things, but like for this one, I just wanted to make it like super loud. So on the first, we have this soof plugin with the reduced harmonic cleaner sub preset. Kind of evens out all the resonance you get in your lower frequency and the sub. So when it hits your compressor, it doesn't like pumps it too much. The next thing it hits is the SSL combine waves. After that, we got this. Virtual mix rack with the VCC mix bus on the knee setting with like the drive turned up a bit. This one gives it some of that low mid beefiness. You can get a bit boomy if you like put too much, especially if like you don't have a sub and you can't hear what's going on in the lower frequencies. And then we've got this custom series equalizer with like a 12k high shelf, around like 4 or 3, three something. <laughs> Just give it the extra top and bottom sizzle and the boominess and then it's going into that line, the clipper. Just like cutting some of that drum transients that is like poking out a bit too much. And then it's going into this max bass to give it the extra low end harmonics so you can hear the fatness in like your smaller speakers and like your earphones and stuff like that. Yeah, so this one really helps bring the low frequency forward in like smaller speakers. And lastly, we've got Pro L2. Which I'm not sure why I use this, but like, usually I use the Invisible Limiter G2, this one. I know it's like super crushed, so don't add me. And then lastly, we have this. I mean, this plugin is not doing anything for the sound, but it's a great reference plugin. Good for y'all if you want to like reference your track against other tracks. But yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much what's done for the song. As you can see, there's not a lot of tracks. Okay, there are like 100 tracks. Oh, actually, we got some scenes at the back here also. Oh yeah, so we got this siren thing going on. All these are from Omnisphere. Then we got some strings. that's probably a good place to end the video so if you guys want to hear more remember to like subscribe to our channel follow us on spotify we have a gig coming up soon that's on 28th of may yeah so you have to pm us for the venue and then we'll let you know what the place so see you guys there also we got like some new merch so if you guys want to get some of our new merch with our new logo that kevin made and then he designed this image like from scratch in our new engine so it's not like some stock footage or we off or somewhere. Yeah, so if you want to get this shirt, maybe you can like DM us on Instagram or you can get it after the gig or during the gig on the 28th. And also we have got a new song coming out soon. Uh, it's another cover 
but we promise we'll be like working on Arduino as well. But this cover we've already worked on it for like a few months and we can't wait to let you guys hear this new track. And so we've got like a guest singer on this one. Maybe the song will be released in June, so watch out for that one. And hopefully we can like have some new originals as well by then. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>